guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my kitchen you guys i posted my vegan steak on instagram last night and asked you guys if you wanted the recipe and y'all was like yes ma'am please and thank you so i'm here today to share this recipe with you guys also down below in the description box you'll you will see in, I mean ingredients down there as well. So do not hesitate to go ahead and skip that if you want to skip the recipe Go ahead and just check the description box. Okay, but in this video I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to make this. Okay Also, I'm going to be coming with more fall and holiday recipes because the holidays are coming up So I'll be having more holiday recipes and I'm not gonna do no talking I'm just about to come with the boom 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 with the recipes. All right, y'all I'm so silly. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So let's get right to the recipe, you guys. All right, you guys. Honestly, I wish I had my gloves for this recipe. So if you're making this, try to get you some gloves, okay? I'm talking a little low because I don't want to yell in you guys' ear. I am mic so I have my bowl right here. And um, what I'm using to start off the recipe is this is the base, Vital Wheat Gluten. This is the base of the recipe. This is the end all be all. You do not want to leave this out, okay? You cannot substitute this with flour. I mean, you can, but it, the, the ingredients, it will be kind of complicated, okay? And I'm going to use two cups of this. It will be kind of complicated because you will have to get it's just too complicated i mean i know how to do it but if you're not a cook a person who likes to cook or a person who knows about cooking it'll be kind of hard and it'll be a waste of time now this vital wheat gluten is kind of hard to find you guys i looked at my local um riley's you guys probably hear an ice cream truck right now in the background it's fall. Why is ice cream truck still around anyway? Oh, this stuff is dusty, you guys. I looked at my local Riley's, my local, um, I'm cleaning this mess up as I go. I hate a mess, y'all. Um, I looked at Walmart. I looked at, where else did I look? I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. I literally had to hold, um, Trader, what, where did I look? Trader Joe's didn't have it. I had to look high and low for this stuff and then finally found it, so um i'll leave a link down below in the description box for those of you who cannot find the recipe now this right here i'm going to show you guys a close-up of what's on this plate but it is two i'll put all of the um ingredients down below in the description box but it's two tablespoons of um two tablespoons of shiitake mushroom powder and all i did was brought some dry shiitake mushrooms put them in my blender and it became powder so two tablespoons of that one tablespoon of nutritional yeast one teaspoon of pink himalayan sea salt one tablespoon of all-purpose flour one tablespoon of coconut sugar one tablespoon of vegetable broth powder mix the mix it's powder and then one tablespoon of garlic powder one tablespoon of smoked paprika one tablespoon of onion powder one tablespoon of ground black pepper and that is it and i said one teaspoon of pink himalayan sea salt yeah that's it and i'm just dumping it all in here right now you guys as i said before everything will be down below beware this is a super dusty recipe okay so that's my dry ingredients and i'm getting ready to add some um time and i'm just kind of whisking it a little right now and i'm going to set it to the side because i'm going to add cut up some <coughs> this literally this dust is crazy let me go to the side over here y'all i'm going to add in some um fresh thyme rosemary and what else is this you guys oh i should have planned this out a little better um fresh thyme rosemary and sage you guys know i love to cook with that so um i'm taking it off of this can you guys see yeah you guys can see that so i'm taking it off the stem as you guys can see if you have a hard time doing it all you have to do is slide it backwards it'll come right off that's of the rosemary and i have my thyme and stuff and sage already right here and try to avoid the stems of them keeping them in your recipe because it will become kind of bitter and one good thing to do is to activate it and the way you activate it just rub it together with your hands make sure your hands are clean when you are doing this stuff because you will definitely just need to keep your hands clean because you're going to be all in there and 
if you um i did this in my last video but when it come down to cooking cutting up stuff in the kitchen what i recommend if you're cutting up stuff like this do it like this put your hand on the knife and just kind of i know y'all know how to cut but i'm just saying <laughs> it'll save you some time doing it versus cutting every small little piece like that nope go in there and hit everything all at one time it'll save you so much time and then i'm just chopping this up into fine little pieces you guys that's it that's all and then i'm just gonna add it into my concoction let me actually move this plate to the side and then hold on y'all i'm gonna make this work oh I can just do it like this. So the bowl is right here. And then let's pick this stuff up. Um, I'm telling y'all, it's so many people, and I always say this in every video, I know you guys, but so many people make it seem like veganism is so hard to do. It is not. It's so many different substitutes you can, and I'm just using my whisk to whisk this together, y'all. Um, it's so many different things that you can do, substitutes and all kind of stuff. You do not have to eat meat if you don't want to, okay? Don't, let me move this back, y'all. I'm all in y'all face. You don't have to, you literally don't. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this to the side just a little. I'm adding in my wet ingredients. Now, this right here is a can of, of this is 15.5 ounces of pinto beans. That's generally one can of pinto beans. So I'm just adding that right in as well. The dust is flying from this stuff, you guys. I hate this, oh my goodness. So that's that. And then I'm adding in one full cup. Where's my cup? Uh, no, it's too dusty. So I'll just use these half of cups. Um, it's too much flour in there and it'll kind of get stuck. But a full cup, this is a half a cup right here, like I said, but I'm doing two so that I make one full cup of vegetable broth. Just regular old vegetable broth. I keep saying everything will be down below. I promise I won't leave y'all hanging, okay? So that's that. And then I'm adding in one tablespoon of tamari. <laughs> you can use soy sauce as well if you can't find tamari, but I love me some tamari, y'all. And I have my spoon right here um i probably need to make the angle better to where y'all can see me and see how everything is looking and that's that and on my stove right now and i'm adding in one table actually two tablespoons of ketchup i'm sorry two tablespoons of ketchup do what it is just regular plain old ketchup no zesty no none of that just regular okay let me go over to my sink to kind of rinse this off. I like to try to keep everything clean while I'm doing this. All right, and then I'm adding in two teaspoons of liquid smoke mesquite. Okay, you can find this it's pretty much everywhere. Oh my goodness, I lost my top, y'all. Okay, that's that. And then at this point, I'm going to set this to the side. At this point, you have everything prepared to start. Let me scooch y'all back just a little bit and scooch y'all to the side, okay? Okay, so I'm all talking to myself, y'all. I said, let me scooch y'all back, okay? Okay. <laughs> As if I'm um, answering for me. Like, it's crazy. Y'all know I'm crazy. But anyway, now it's time to roll up them sleeves and knead the dough. You guys, let me show y'all what this is looking like right now. Hold on, can y'all see? Okay, so this is what it's looking like. And I really wish my camera, I should have used my other camera, but let me just pull y'all back a little. Okay, so this is going to become meat textured like, okay? I'll show y'all after I'm done, but I'm gonna keep on doing this and kneading the dough until it becomes kind of smooth. I let this sit for, um, 10 minutes before I needed it a little bit. And what kneading means is just kind of like applying pressure to the dough, you know, just kind of making it smooth. You wanna, you can even use a rolling pin. Um, I don't recommend using it hardcore and just getting off in there because if you 
<laughs> do it too much, then your um, your meat substitute is gonna fall apart. So you just kind of want to make it smooth. My thing is loud. I don't want it to be loud in your ear. Yeah, I just kind of smooth it out on both sides, kind of get in there with my hands and just kind of do it like that. Uh, my hands are probably ashy right now, you guys. I've washed them several times at this point while I had the camera off. Um, and on my stove right now, I have some water in a pot and I put the vegetable broth mix in a pot. And let me show you guys what vegetable broth mix looks like. It's not your average vegetable broth. It's vegetable broth mix. And I picked this up at my local um, Asian market. And what you can do with it is you can make your own vegetable broth with it. You can just put water in a pot and make that, okay? So I have two tablespoons of that in a pot along with some fresh rosemary and thyme. I didn't cut it up or anything. I just took it straight out of the packet and put it in rosemary, um, thyme, sage. I'm looking over to see what else I got in there. Some garlic cloves, some onions. And I just put everything in there just finely just I didn't even dice it or anything. I just cut it up like the onion. You guys know how it's a full onion. I just cut the onion, cut it in big chunks, took the skin off, put it in with the garlic, mashed it up, took it out of the skin and put it in whole. So yeah, I just did it like that. And then I have it over there. I'm bringing it to a rolling boil while I'm doing this. And then I'm going to turn it down and to a simmer. And then I'm going to put this steak substitute in there for 50 minutes so yeah and now i'm just cutting it let's see because this calls for two steaks well you can get two steaks out of this unless you want one huge humongous steak <laughs> um yeah so i'm just doing it like this making it into somewhat of a steak um shape now do note when you make this this recipe will rise it's gonna rise a little bit so if you want your steak thick you can make it on the thick side if you want your uh, thick, uh, steak thin you can make it on the thinner side but if you keep it thick it'll rise so i mean it's just up to you what's your preference what you like okay you guys so this is the water that i had come to a rolling boil and I just turned it up on high and let it boil up and then I turned it down to let it simmer and I'm putting the meat substitutes in here and you guys can still see the beans on mine oh it got smoky you guys can still see the beans on mine because I didn't mash the beans up very very well but it depends your recipe will depend on depends on how you do yours okay so mash your beans up if you want yours to be seamless to where you can't see it okay so i'm putting the top on this 50 minutes so i have my rosemary garlic potatoes that i have here i'm getting ready to throw these in the oven what i did was chopped up some fresh rosemary some fresh garlic my red potatoes put some pink himalayan sea salt on there some black pepper and then some oil as well and then i'm getting ready to put this in my oven on 415 415 degrees for 40 minutes okay you guys so at this point the steak is done this is what it looks like when i took it out it looks so good I mean to me because I know how it tastes to some of y'all y'all might be like ew but don't knock it until you try it so I have some oil at this point you can get oil of your choice whatever kind and just put it inside of your skillet along with some onions and this give it flavor I have tamari as well because I want to brown the steak as well so I'm just going to place the steak right here and I'm going to cook it for I'm going to put a little tamari on top of it like that I'm gonna cook it for I'm sorry you guys I know it's loud in your ear I know I'm sorry I'm sorry let me close it okay so I'm gonna cover it and then I'm gonna cook it on each side for about two minutes two minutes on each side remember with adding in all of these flavors you guys might be like you should too much sodium too much this too much that but it's really not because Remember, this is seitan that I just showed you guys how to make. And seitan is a super blank canvas until you start adding the flavors to it. So that's why I'm adding so many deep, good flavors to make it really, really good. Because if you don't add flavors, you'll just have a 
blank piece of blah on your plate, okay? So I'm showing you guys how to make it good. So two minutes on one side, after that I'm gonna flip it over and then two minutes on that side, but before I close the top, I'm going to put that tamari on the top because that browns the steak, give it that brown fried looking color that you guys see at restaurants. It's I was gonna leave without taste testing you guys look at this this is crazy and to be honest I already know what this tastes like I know it's the bomb I know it's super good mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. you know I gotta try it okay I guarantee everybody in my house love this by the way Guarantee if you are transitioning from a American standard diet, which is meat eating and stuff like that, to a vegan diet, you will love this without a doubt. You will love this. Seriously, it's so seasoned with flavor. It's um, juicy. It's tender. It's like seriously, y'all. And the onions to top it off and give it that caramelized flavor like the restaurants and then that um liquid smoke the mesquite along with and do not skip out on frying it as well do not skip out on that frying it because that is going to give it that flame grilled effect because this tastes like it was literally flame grilled and it's just so good so try it you guys tag me on instagram i always see you guys tagging me when y'all try my um recipes and stuff like that so make sure you guys tag me on Instagram at Health with Keisha. Once you guys try this recipe, I really appreciate all the love, all the tags, all the shots out and stuff like that. Y'all, I'm about to demolish this. This is so, this is good. This is, I, I, I'm gonna eat. I gotta go, I gotta go, okay? If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button to be notified when I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, okay? I love you guys, and I will see you guys in another video next time. Bye, y'all.